Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and today I just wanted to make a quick video on how I became a developer. So, it's just a story that started a long, long time ago, when I was like, gay, tall, or, or, or shorter. But, anyways, I came across this website and downloaded this app back when Net Zero was a thing, and I was looking at... I was looking to make a cool website, so I made this website. It was a very long time ago with this app. It was kind of like Adobe. I think it was an Adobe Dreamweaver or something like that. I'm not I'm not even sure what the name of the program was, but that was my first website. I think the year was like 2000 and 2008 maybe, maybe before that. I don't remember the exact year, but the website was simple. I, I just put some pictures on there. It was really cool, and I loved it. And then at the end of it, it was like, oh, you got to buy this program for whatever amount of dollars to to get it live. And I was just a kid and didn't really know how to do that. So that was the end of that. Fast forward to the year 2012, and that was when I made my second website. So that this is like five years later. And I came across Wix, you know, like Wix. And this was when I was into like network marketing. Um, there was this company called Wake Up Now, and I thought, hey, if I make a website, that could really explain things. And it was just like an affiliate marketing page for um, that I made, and you can see, I think it's still it's it's still somewhere. Maybe I deleted it, but it was like a Wix website, really cool. And then my third website, which was only like in 2014, 2015, I believe was also with Wix. So Wix was the page builder and it only took like it took like a few days to make it and I put it together in no time at all and I was like wow this is it. This is the cool website. It had like the moving background and everything and um it had like the the e commerce and blog and things like that. And I was really, really happy about it. So after I made that website, I was like, wow, this is this is great and all, but it's missing something. It was like the e-commerce that was missing. Did some research, some Googling around, and I came across Shopify, which was where I took the Wix website and transferred it, and that's when I got started with Shopify. So I got started with Shopify in 2015. And then ever since then, I spent a whole lot of time doing the actual customization of the website. And that's actually how I learned HTML um, from Shopify. And then once I really got used to it, I started picking up things here and there, putting scripts here and there, customizing here and there. And before I know it, I know how to do HTML. But it wasn't until more recently. 2017 to be exact, that I started exploring other options with Shopify. I made like a two other websites with Shopify. It was like DronePix, um, and uh, Duluth. It was like Duluth Shop or something like that. That was just a demo site. I wasn't on it. I didn't. I didn't go go for it like 100 percent like I should have, because because after the domain expired, somebody else got it. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie do. Whoop. What am I gonna do about it? Oop. Um, in December 2017, I um did this like. Me and my friend were doing like this challenge. It was like a 30 day drop shipping challenge, and then, um, <clears throat> through that I made like a cool little Schmitty goods. It's called Schmitty goods, by the way. Um, and this Schmitty goods was just an e-commerce store with just a bunch of little random stuff and I was like wow this is this is gonna be a piece of shit the logo is literally a piece of shit I, I kid you not <laughs> but turns out um I made like an Instagram account for it and really picked up the followers to like a thousand followers in no time at all and I actually got a bunch of sales from it it didn't really matter what the logo was that's what I learned from that it didn't really matter what the logo was it didn't really matter what the name was um and the slogan um what mattered was the pro was the product so like with schmitty goods i learned that it's all about the products and marketing 
even though even though the store was like a complete joke like I kid you not <laughs> um so moving fast forward after Schmitty Goods my next project was some JavaScripts um like JavaScripts programs and websites from scratch um I think this is I think this is the time that I started learning how to do uh, my website, which was gavinchabor.com, by the way. You can go check it out. It's uh, it's a web app. It's a web app, too. Um, and uh, this website is made with Polymer. So Polymer is like this framework, and this is like the first frame framework that I use outside of um, outside of Shopify and, and other frameworks. So with... Uh, with Polymer, I was able to use JavaScript and HTML and Firebase. That's like my stack right there um, to build a website and put it out in the web. And through that, I learned how to do more development and more deploying on like index files, just straight HTML, just deploying straight HTML to the web. And then once I got a hang of that, I wanted to make some more interesting stuff and actually went back to Polymer to make apps. Um, so like I did like this app for a calculator. It does like this, like it's like this calculator um, for calculating the cost of uh, the cost of advertising, PPC advertising. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. I'm gonna make something else. So after making that project, I uh, had this game for skateboarding. It's called the bonus game, by the way. and I used JavaScript, like just straight JavaScript HTML, started completely from scratch. And this is the first time I did this, by the way. All the other ones, I used different frameworks and, and templates. So uh, game.bonuscape.com, that is a project that I made completely from scratch, which I'm really proud of, by the way. Probably should play it more often or update it more often. But it's there if you want to check it out or play it. And then after... Building that project, I got into Angular, and Angular is the second framework I use. Um, Angular is a framework made by Google, and it's great for making apps that can do anything, pretty much. So the, the reason I chose Angular was really because I wanted to make an app that would also be on phones or something like that. Um, and Angular just seemed to be the best. It was either Angular or React. And at the time I was using Polymer, but it didn't seem like it was picking up. It wasn't really picking up uh, as I expected. And I wanted a framework that was just more, more, basically. And there's been some challenges with Angular, but I'm proud to say that I am pretty good with Angular now. There's like this other app that I'm currently working on. It's, it's just using some API. That's where I'm at right now. Learning how to use APIs, post APIs. But that's my previous project, my most recent project, which is like MA Auto Sales. Um, I learned how to do Stripe payments, uh, cloud functions, and uh, just custom forms and custom JavaScript stuff on that. So, to sum it up, I've been a developer since. I don't know, I'd say since like two years ago maybe. Before then I was just kind of like a uh, hobbyist or a hobbyist or something like that. Um, moving forward, I want to do... What do I want to do? Hmm, I don't know. Things don't really always pan out the way you expect, so... Whatever, I have another idea, I'll probably make a website for it. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and you have a nice day. See ya. Peace.